Two of the most well-documented leviathans from this era were Tusateuthis and Ancotuthis, both members of the now-vanished Incotuthine lineage. These two giants bore such a striking resemblance to one another that paleontologists still debate whether certain fossilized remains belong to one or the other. What is certain, however, is that they were massive, eerie-looking, and puzzling creatures. Puzzling in the sense that, despite their robust and compact squid-like forms, they were in fact more closely aligned with modern octopuses than with squids. In their juvenile stages, these cephalopods were tiny and easy prey, with fossilized gut contents suggesting that they were a staple food source for many prehistoric marine predators. Yet, in response to this relentless predation, they developed an extraordinary survival strategy, rapid growth rates, and a staggering range of size variation. Some individuals reached no more than the length of a human forearm, whereas others stretched to an impressive three meters, or about 10 feet. Upon reaching these formidable proportions, these creatures underwent a role reversal, transitioning from prey to predator. They actively hunted smaller fish, invertebrates, and even young marine reptiles, including baby mosasaurs and plesiosaurs. Much like modern octopuses, Tusoteuthis and Ancoteuthis likely employed their ten sucker-lined arms to seize unsuspecting prey, swiftly drawing them toward their powerful razor-edged beaks. There is also speculation that, akin to present-day cephalopods, they may have utilized ink as a defensive mechanism, using it to cloak their escape when faced with danger. Their speed and agility were undeniable, as they propelled themselves through the water via jet propulsion, making them highly efficient hunters in their domain.